Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here with Chase. And we're out here, I'm in Texas, and I filmed two videos when I'm out here. I did one going to the, um, the family video, and the other video we're doing is going to the um, Half Price Books. And you were saying that this is the headquarters. This is the big one. The big, the huge location. I remember people were saying in the comments last time I was in Texas, you gotta check out this store. So we're gonna go inside of there and hopefully we can find something. Fingers crossed. Well, we're inside of here now, and you were saying though that this is the headquarters location of um, Half Price Books. Yeah, here in Dallas, Texas. And it's like enormous in here. Like, and I, I, right away I spotted they have some of these Disney tins ones in here, seventy-five bucks, like Silly Symphonies, uh, Donald, the chrono chronological Donald Duck Volume One. But like, if you see, like this place is like enormous. And here's, I think, I think that's all movies over there. And in here they had like a bunch of like, I, it, you know, we were asking too, like I, you showed me this thing. I was like, what is this? And I got to show it on the video, this doll. And I don't know anything about who this is, but it's Kinky Friedman. And I was saying to you, you know, <laughs> and he's like making a funny like thing with his hand there and stuff. I was saying, imagine going to the front saying, excuse me, uh, could, I have to get something out of this case. And you're like, what is it, sir? Well, I really want to get that, uh, the, the Kinky Friedman doll. I've never seen one. And it's, he, it's a country singer. I guess it's a country singer. Who says on the side says, hell yes, it's a Cuban cigar. And it says on there, for governor. So he was running for governor in 2006. Yeah, look at this on the side, dude. It says, hell yes, I'm. it's a Cuban cigar, but I'm supporting their, I'm not supporting their economy, I'm burning their fields. That's very weird. And he, and he talks, too. So I guess he maybe he says those quotes. Something like that, I don't, I don't know. Maybe you should buy that though. And you should get it out. <laughs> It might be, maybe, maybe it's a very ra rare and out of print doll. I've never, I've never heard, I mean, I, mean, I was young at the time in 2006 too, in mm -hmm. Texas, but. I feel like too, you could imagine like Kinky Friedman, like in his house, he might have like thousands of the dolls. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he has like boxes of Kinky Friedman dolls. This is the kids yeah, section, this is all the kids section of movies. The other stuff is over there. Yeah, sometimes they have weird stuff mixed in here, you never know. Oh, they have, oh, there's a whole thing over uh, here of clamshell Disney and stuff. I tell it over here. And some people say, like, oh, yeah, you got to look for certain ones of these that are really valuable. I think that's, like, always just sort of like a weird urban legend. I think there may be, like, randomly some of these that can be really valuable, but... Like, for example, I have this one at home. Yeah, like, so they say some of them. Yeah, but, like, they say some of them are real... I, but I, I've never really noticed that. Maybe, like... Two. Let's see how much this one cost. Gordy. Two dollars. That was a kind of a fun talking pig movie. Yeah. Was it a talking pig? I think? Yeah. Yeah. It would kind of, didn't it come out like around the same time as Babe? So it was kind of like when the, the yeah. pig movies were kind of like a big thing. I think Babe was better. No, I I agree. Gordy was Gordy was sort of like the copy of it. Yeah. Here's some more random ones. What is this one? Beyond the waterfall. I think it's one of those family film things. Fa yeah, family. There was a special, there was like movies back Dating. in the day where it was a magazine or something where you can get these, I guess they were like religious kind of magazines. Yeah, yeah. But they would make movies kind of like. They, they, there was like a religious movie, like t kid series called McGee and Me, which I remember like as a kid seeing some of those. And this is like, you you would not, you were too young to remember that, but there was this one thing called Little People. It's like Little People One by One. Yeah, yeah. Not this one, but there was one before this that I used to watch as a little kid, like crazy. crazy. This is a weird one. Present time. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> this is a weird one here too. This. It's like a bunch of like these sheeps and stuff like that in here. That's a very weird movie. Still cool to see a bunch of VHS tapes in here, like a whole nook of VHS. Oh, I'm sure you got it on camera already, but the babe. Oh yeah, look look at how many copies of Babe. If you there's no, definitely no shortage of babes. Hmm. Did you like Babe Pig in the City? Yeah, I did. I did too. The one and the woman in here too always kind of reminded me of like she could have been like in Motel Hell. Oh yeah, dude. I don't oh, know why I always thought that. Wasn't there another babe where he went to another city and not that one where he there was like a Boston Terrier or something dog like a Target dog? Where Maybe that I don't know. There might have been something like that. I don't think it was Gordy. That no, couldn't have been Gordy. You did wrong. Let's head over though and see the whole movie section. And what is this over here? It's like it's like a is it a screening? What is that? 
what is this whole area over here? Because it's like like a movie theater, and they have like old movie posters up here, oh. and 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 they have a poster for that weird movie, which is an amazing movie, which hardly that's very underrated with this with Burt Lancaster called The Swimmer. And he's this guy who's like really depressed, and he go and he just decides he wants to go and swim in pools. So he's going and swimming through his whole neighborhood and all the people's pools, and he comes across different people. You can buy them for time. Oh, so that's for sale that one. Yeah. So I guess they're are they? Oh, I guess they're selling this one too. It doesn't have a price, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's. A little, there might be more. It's 55. 55. So this is a co community room that's closed, but I guess they like. I don't know what it is back here. I guess it's like for meetings or something like that. That's interesting. Yeah, like ever get in there? Like, like say you wanna. Like, oh look, I think this is a Lego set. Oh, a Lego set of half price books. Yeah, that's cool. So I guess it's like of this, yeah, 2009 someone made that. That's pretty cool. And here we are now in the movie section. You can see like, it's like enormous. Like look at all these aisles of movies down in here. I even saw like, seen some interesting stuff in here. But like this is like the DVD clearance over here. All these, all these TV series. This is definitely the biggest one I've ever been because I was in one that I can't remember where it was. It was pretty big, but not not this much. This, oh, is, yeah, this is this. Is, I wonder if they have any out of print stuff. If they have any like um, you know, unsolved mysteries. That's one I always look for unsolved mysteries. See if they, they got all the my, old Monty Pythons. The whole Monty Python, a lot of copies of Mister Show. Let's see. And then this is the more expensive stuff like here. Oh yeah, so that, that that's probably where they put like some of the out of print. Yeah. More expensive box sets. The League thing here. Bone set. Let's see. Let's see where the unsolved mysteries. That's one. That's one of those out of print things I always look for. T. Unsolved mysteries, though, you you don't see them much. I always look for them. There's a U. If they had them, they might put them too in those expensive spots. That oh, would probably. There's a couple of them over here. Yeah, so that's probably where they would put them. Well, here's these. Oh, they're different. I saw this. This is like a, a UK edition here of American Horror Story Asylum. That's crazy. So that might even be. Oh, it's, a re, it's an all region one. These are some cool. Of these movie sets. Do you remember? Do you, do you remember any of these when these came out? These like, these multi movie sets that were from Shriek Show. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah there were some cool sets of these. Yeah, they were even uh, you know the Sword Dollar General. Mm -hmm. They had stuff like that all the time, like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they, there's a bunch of weird ones in here, like the Lemon Grove Kids, and yeah, there's some interesting stuff. Oh, I got the unrated version. Team America. <laughs> did that? Did that ever come to Blu-ray, or did I just sort of forget that it did? It might have I don't it. know if it did or not. I think it did. I don't know if they released the unrated version of it. I don't know. That's the one thing that's with certain things they don't release the unrated versions of it when it comes to Blu-ray, you know, down the line. I wonder why they would do that. I know. Right here. Yeah, right here. And all these editions of Back to the Future and then the new one just came out. The 4K set, but I remember when this first came out, like how excited I was because this is like there's so much stuff on this feature-wise. So I guess this is yeah. So this is all the horror. So let's look through the horror stuff. Yeah. So this is the whole horror section here. I like when they separate it because some places do not separate the horror, and then you can't find the stuff. This one here, Rattle Space. Never seen that one. Bone Collector. This is one of those movies that like I bought years ago and I had like there was like a steelbook of it. I never watched in my life. You ever, you ever had movies like that where you've bought them and you just had them forever and you never watched them? Yeah, like the, one of the old Godfathers in the third one. Yeah, and you just sort of like look at it and you're like, someday I'll watch this. Well, I guess I should take it back. I, I watched it, but I only bought it to complete my collection. Yeah, like sometimes like that, yeah, you just kind of like. This is like one of the George Romero movies that I never watched. It's one called Bruiser. I've never even heard of that. Yeah, it was from was it 2001, but it's like one of the least talked about um, ones. And this one, it's funny here, it says exclusive Walmart bonus film. So it includes two pack, the bonus film is Bruiser? 
that's really weird. See, it says bonus film bruiser, two pack. Let's see if you can you open it up and see what the other one yeah. is because it's like. See, it's just like oh, a double-sided disc. I guess it's a double-sided, but that's very. No, you know what this was? This was. This came with something else. So this this edition must have come with another Blu-ray or okay. DVD, and this was the bonus. That's possible. So that's really strange. So that's kind of funny. Yeah, that's what I found. Is no, they put the disc. I remember finding that. Oh, the Dracula set. Bella Lugosi. Well, yeah, I, I remember. That's what they do in here. They put the disc back like this so you can see if it's scratched. So that's why they do that. And this is one of those kind of bad movies. I remember seeing this in theaters. And it was kind of like a watchable bad movie. I actually never watched it, but I see that cover all the time. You know, that's one of those ones you see in like the uh, dollar, you know, Goodwills and stuff all the time. But it's not terrible though. Okay. Yeah, I like though they separated because the the one that I was in last time though did not have the thing separated. This is a weird movie, Dark Stories Three, from Platinum. So, records. So Dylan Ted's supposed to be over here. No, I think I well, yeah, it's not. That's not really sci-fi. I mean, that's more. I, I think of that more as just like a comedy. Demon Within, and it's crazy that Anchor Bay isn't around anymore. You know, like I, I used to love that company, and they really—I don't think they're around at all. It's crazy because some of their DVDs were actually pretty expensive. I know there's some of them that are really rare ones. They were like, without Anchor Bay, I wouldn't have found out about like Sleepaway Camp and so many of the things that oh, I yeah. saw for the first time. Silent, Night Deadly Night for me. Yeah, there were so many of the things that I like horror movies that I saw the first time through them when they started like releasing stuff. A weird one here. Euro fiends from beyond. Evil eyes. There's definitely some strange ones in here. Some Adam Baldwin movie. I've never seen that one. Evolver. I never watched this one. Was this with um? No, I've never seen this one. The one thing is that this place I I remember though they kind of know when things are out of print. So see like this one's 19.99. Yeah. So they kind of check the prices on stuff. Golden Years. Did you like the did you watch the new Hellboy movie? Not the new one, no. No, I I, I it was okay. Like I, I the original I just, ones I really liked. I, yeah, I just know they changed the actor and yeah. a couple things about it. Yeah, it's definitely weird stuff in here. Hillbillies in a haunted house. <laughs> That's a very strange one. Zombies. Yeah, that was pretty good. Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Yeah, I, I like that one. That was super cool. Yeah, that was that was actually pretty good. There's certain movies if you notice that you don't that are like out of print ones you never come across anymore like you never see Near Dark. Have you ever noticed that? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's that's a movie that I cannot believe has never been released again from like Scream Factory or Errol Video or any of those ones. There's certain things like that you're like I can't believe that they've never no one would have thought to do like a really big special edition of them. A full moon collection here is the subspecies set. That's cool. Awesome, man. There's definitely a wide range of stuff in here. I just like that it's separated so I can just, you know, focus on it for the video because I this is the kind of stuff I always like look for is the horror stuff. But usually they're not separated in here. You have to kind of just go, oh well, they're all kind of mixed in. Yeah, like I was saying though, like look at how big this place is. Like here's the front over here and it goes like all the way back. It's kind of like a, you know, like a airplane hangar in here. 
it's almost it's kind of like the Costco of half price books. Yeah, it really is. That's kind of what it's like in here. Like when I was we were on the way over here, I was saying trying to compare what it would look like, and I said mm -hmm. like about that David Buster size. Yeah, like this big fight. <laughs> And I remember usually down in here, like sometimes in the bottom, they would have like budget stuff, like dollar movies and like cheaper stuff. I don't know if they have a section like that in here anywhere or not. Uh, it'd be the clan for everyone else that's over there. Oh yeah, that's, so yeah, they're all hoarded up over there. It's a little, little close and hoarded up over there, so I don't, I don't, <laughs> don't want to get that close over there. This is one of those things that I cannot believe though, they've only put out the first season of. It's like... In, in, at least in the U.S. It's like, when are they ever going to put out, like, I keep on hoping Mill Creek or somebody will do, like, a complete series of these, or, or even, like, a Blu-ray set or something. It's crazy they haven't released more than one season. Though. I know. And, and, and it's the worst part is, this season ends on a cliffhanger at the water park. <laughs> so, there, you don't even know, unless you watch on TV or, like, something like that. Other, otherwise, you're like, oh, I don't know what happens. You just want to make a bootleg copy of it for you. I know. Ash versus the Evil Dead. I only watched a couple episodes of the show. I never watched the whole thing. Yeah, me neither. I, I, I mean, like, I liked what I watched of it, but I didn't like. I never just. I should. I should watch through the show at some point. There's a lot of shows like that, like, especially you know that I kind of watch like a couple of, and then that's it. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of start it, and then I haven't really seen all of them. So old, the shield. And this this is kind of a rare copy of The Simpsons because it still has the paper back on it still. Yeah. You see like all the other ones mi oh. missing the paper back. So it's kind of rare for them to, to stay on it. Yeah, all of them are missing them. Now I, I, I hope they continue releasing The Simpsons because they kind of started again like a couple months ago and I just hope they continue on. Yeah, 200 episodes. And The Simpsons is also one of those TV series where they changed the, the you watch like every time they would change the way they released they were like really thick cases and then it would go down the, to like they then they would do these versions for some of them in these cases that were I, I don't think they were more money or not and then they started getting thinner so like, see how this one 12th season got thin and they just kept getting thinner as they went along and the newest one is like this size wow. so like if you wanted to be like see, like South Park they were some of the real thick cases and I think they've always kind of kept that same kind of size the same thing with Sopranos too, like all these are. Yeah, like it's HBO, so they they were really thick cases for their seasons, like wow. True Blood. Yeah, there. I see everyone's still. They're all still over there in the in the clearance section, like hoarding it up. <laughs> you have to kind of like squeeze your way in. It's like, oh, the the best deals are over there in that spot. You saw this one thing over here you were showing, is it, so it's like a, is it a CD-ROM? But it's like every single issue of National Geographic in here for only $9. You probably wouldn't be able to, you probably have to get an old computer to play it. I bet it's from 2010. Yeah, maybe a little bit. They had this one weird movie over here that I saw, Feed. I was telling, telling you this, this is such a strange movie, Feed, about like feeders and stuff like that. That was so weird. This is a really creepy movie too, Tommy. Do you remember that one? Mm -mm. Is that, that's where's, where's that from? I think, it's, I think it's Japan, I think, but it was really freaky. There was a movie in Japan that, that was made, it was the original. We remade it, but it wasn't very good, but I can't remember. Uh, uh, the eye, I think it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually, I think it was the eye. It was actually really creepy in Japan. This is a cool movie too. Did you ever see this one called Dead Girl? Mm -mm. That was really pretty cool. That was like a weird movie. There was like a that guy who was like sleeping with his dead. There was this one that was like chained up. It was really strange. <laughs> yeah, so this is sort of like the horror kind of mixture section. Some kind of a Bela Lugosi set in this kind of weird paper case from a weird direct source entertainment weird company. The booth. That's interesting. This is one I never watched. I think it was a, you know a Sid Haig from Full Moon, The Haunted Casino. That's one of those ones I never never watched.
But in here though, they don't just have like, you know, books and movies, they also have comic books in here, as well as like we were showing those dolls, but they have like um, also some like cool, like figures and stuff in here. Like I remember this X-Men one back in the day. Like I had, I, I think as a kid, I had like all these ones and they even had like a play set that I remember having as well. But I remember like really loving these as a kid. Like I, I literally think I had like every single one of these ones. That's kind of cool. And this was the Extreme Ghostbusters. And I, I never really liked that one. That was 97. They have Pops in here though. And Stimpy one. Oh, what are these ones? Oh, those are the rare, the rare one. Well, they're kind of rare, but they're $5, some of yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, they're reprints of rare runs. They're 20 yeah. bucks. They're so how did those ones become like, they gotta be locked up and then not these ones? I don't know, I guess because these things are like a dollar or something. Yeah, so I guess like they're worried people are gonna screw them up or something. Yeah, these are like 10, 15, 20. Dice stuff in there. It makes any sense, I have, and, and not on the internet, but on real, in real life, at a Madness Comics in mm -hmm. Plano. I uh, saw the original Watchmen, the first issue. Oh, they yeah. They wanted 175 for it. Oh, wow. So anyway though guys, thanks a lot for watching our video, checking out the half price books. We didn't see anything in there, but it was still yeah, cool to was, see. There's though. definitely a lot of stuff in the whole time we were in there though, that clearance section I showed, people did not leave. That no, was that was, that was the place to be, that clearance section. Yeah, some of those movies are only a dollar, man. Yeah, they, got, they have to hoard up on those. Yeah. But, but anyway though guys, thanks so much for watching, subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.